Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. True Gamer for Reels here for you once again. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to actually modify the maps for Ready or Not because there is a ton of them, a ton of them are cool, and there is a ton of cool things to do in the missions. Uh, kind of expand your horizon once you get done with just those factory maps. They go pretty quick, especially if you're addicted to it. But uh, there's like 20 or 30 more missions you can play right here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so first you want to do is go to your actual uh, modding website, which I like to go to Nexus Mods. And you pretty much just click on whatever one you want to get. Uh, you want to go to Files, and then you want to click Manual Download, and then that should start downloading for you. Um, if you do not have a premium membership, the downloads are super slow, like 2 megabytes a second, which is why it's going so slow down here. But if you have the fast uh, you know, membership, I think it's like 10 bucks a month, it's super quick and is downloaded in seconds. I refuse to pay for anything, so I'll just wait it out and uh, you know take the time to edit videos or do whatever it takes and not have to pay any money so yeah uh after that you want to go ahead and open up your steam and you want to go to ready or not um you want to right click on it go to manage and then browse local files once you are in your local files folder you want to go to ready or not content packs and then there you go that is pretty much it all you're going to do then is open up your download RAR, RAR file or whatever you have, and then you just want to drop that pack right into the packs folder. And once that's uploaded in there, uh, you are pretty much all set. Uh, you really can't do anything else. That's how you do it. It's real simple and easy. Not that big of a deal. Uh, the only word to the wise that I do uh, want to make everybody aware of is that your maps replace some of the factory maps um, in the game. So uh, if you go down and you look at the description of your actual maps that you're downloading, uh, you can see here it says this map replaces the hotel test rooms level. So if you ever put a mod in and you can't find it, just remember that it does replace the hotel's test room. Um, so in order for that to uh be gone and if you do want to play the hotel test room level again you have to delete that pack inside the folder so just make sure you delete the mod and you can play all the original uh maps that the game uh you know officially came with in the beginning um other than that that's pretty much it also do make a note that um if you download multiple maps and uh, if you have more than one map that says it's going to replace the hotel rooms, you're only going to be playing the latest one that you packed in. So do keep that in mind. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. It's very simple, easy, and to the point. Make sure you all like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one. Have a great night. Mm -hmm.